Okay, today we're going to show you the disassembly and reassembly of the nine part square head for the new BMI H9SQ. Um, the head is designed to be completely disassembled for cleaning in a sink or dishwasher. Uh, the first step we're going to take here is uh, these little stainless steel thumb screws remove the cover plate. We'll set that aside. I didn't even take the thumb screws out of there because that way I can't lose them. The second layer here is what we call a, a lock plate. It's got 36 little keyhole slots and once you get these things lined up properly this plate will lift right off and uh, you can set that aside. The third layer is called a plug plate. This is one of the plate holds all the plugs in, piece, in place. Uh, none of these are food contact parts. You can wash them in a sink or dishwasher, that's perfectly safe, or you can wash them by hand. What I'm left here right now is all the dividers and the plugs in place in the pan. Um, when I take the divider and divider plate out, this whole unit can be uh, kept together and washed in a sink or dishwasher. Um, the only time that you'd want to completely just set it for screws is if a, if a repair needed to be made. And of course that leaves me now with all my plugs in place here. Uh, these are all dishwasher safe. I would wash them just as they are, either in a sink or dishwasher. Um, the reassembly process now, we need to have some type of a raised pan or something to put it in. Uh, about a 10 inch cake pan works really well. I don't have one, so I just found this uh, metal colander. And uh, I start out by placing the plug plate over the bowl. And I'm looking through the holes and making sure that it doesn't line up with the lip anything. All of these holes have to be clear. There can't be anything uh, in the way because the, uh, the tops of the plugs are going to be protruding through here. So that's real important that whatever size you use, it doesn't have a big lip on it and that all these holes remain clear. Okay, the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to place this whole thing right over the hole and set it right in place. Now when I put this together, I like to start with the center one first. Take it right in place and it snaps right in place. From there I can work around all the outer ones. Sometimes they'll, they'll pop in pretty easy, sometimes it will require a little bit of a, a tap with your hands. The more that, uh, that you do this, the better that they're going to break in. That's going to become easier each time. Okay, now I've got them all done in there. They're all pretty much flush with the knives for the most part. I'm going to take the pan, I'm going to put it on upside down over the whole works, grasp it by this, and flip it over. That keeps everything together. Just going to push down here, make sure that this is down nice and tight. Um, there is an oblong hole in the center. That should be lined up from front to back on this here. I'm going to put this lock plate down so it's over and then it just slides over and locks in place. Also, when we put this cover plate back on, these two squares, they should be, or screws, should be lined up with the slot in the middle of the head assembly because when it goes back on the machine, um, it has to be aligned properly these, for these to fit some clearance holes that are underneath here. So now that this whole head assembly has been put back together, it's uh, Quite simple to place back on the machine, and there's another video that we described all that process with. So, as you see, it's only a few seconds to uh, take the head assembly apart, put it back together, <coughs> and run all the pieces through a dishwasher.